Welcome back. Today is uh, February 2nd, and as you can tell by this, 1-26-2016, it's uh, the new Adaptation Ale from Rough Tail Brewing. Uh, the last one I did uh, of their Adaptation series was, uh, I believe it was a Black IPA. This is, uh, I'm not sure the exact style of this one. But I've uh, had these beers since Friday, and I've already drank three of these and two of the hoptometrists that I bought in the Rough Tail Brewing glass. I've seen some written reviews on this one, and uh, I'm not necessarily getting the exact same that they were getting. Got a little left in the can. Now on the smell, I think they were saying like mango and pineapple and like oranges. I'm getting a little... I don't want to say it's it's on the verge of being, you know, like dank, but... You're definitely getting like a tropical fruit. Um, I wouldn't say pineapple, maybe like a, like a nectarine, something a little more sour. Not not an actual orange per se. It's a little haze to it. It does look like a really cheap pineapple juice. All that stuff that the government the government gives you. If you were alive back in the eighties when yeah. Anyway. Let's hop into it. Now, if I read this correctly, uh, since they use the same label on all their adaptation cans, uh, you really don't know the ABV, but I'm pretty sure this is sitting at 7. You might get any, any hints of alcohol whatsoever. Maybe a little bit towards the end when the bitterness kicks in. This is, e this is an easy drink. Just drink it by itself. Hell, I'd probably sit down and drink a whole four pack of 16 ounce cans and hour, hour and a half just sitting down watching YouTube or drunkenly playing Black Ops. I don't remember the exact price of this. I do know it's a little more expensive than their, like, say their pale ale or even the optometrist, which I got a good good deal on it. It's like around eleven bucks or so. I think this is like thirteen dollars somewhere in there. Damn good beer though. First off, you're going to get kind of kind of medium to mild on the uh, man. It's kind of hard to hard to describe. Like medium to mild, like an orange to a tangerine, but not really on the sourness part. Uh, it does smell like it's going to be a little more sour than it tastes. Um, getting kind of a dry, but not, it's not really that dry, and then it goes into the bitterness. It's really ba well balanced with the malt, too. You really don't get the malt background until that bitterness kind of goes away.
It's just a good easy drink. It's really hard to describe it though. I mean, I haven't ever really had a, a, such a well balanced uh, ale. I mean, it's typically lean one way or another. If there's going to be too hoppy, like on the citrus or the pine, but not enough bitterness to back that up, and then not enough malt to back that up. Or it's just going to be straight bitter and no flavor and no malt. Or it's going to be too much malt, not enough bitterness. Uh, I mean, it's. You really can't get much more balance than this. I'm not. I'm not really going to say you're going to get a, a citrus. I mean, that could that could lean any anywhere. Very mild orange, like below, like what anybody would think would be a, an orange flavor, but it does have that kind of a little of a zip to it. Goes into a little little dryness, and that bitter, and then the malt just comes through, but not in a rush. I mean, it's like a kind of builds up to it. And it just uh, leaves quietly and says, "Thank you. I'll see you on the next drink." I mean, if you're wanting a beer that you could just bullshit, sit around, have food, whatever the hell you want to eat. Uh, of course, like I said, like with most ales and uh, IPAs and so forth, I uh, I do suggest pizza. Uh, you know, slap on some extra garlic, uh, slap on some extra pepperoni. Um, any pasta with Alfredo or a cheese-based sauce, vodka sauce per se. Um, I'm not really much in a drink of beer with like spaghetti, anything tomato based, it's anything like that I think I'd rather stick to a porter. Um, this would be great with uh, any vegetable, uh, preferably like corn, uh, mashed potatoes, I think that would go pretty good. Um, I think it'd be good with anything, uh, you know, it's kind of a personal preference. Damn good beer though. As you can tell, I just have just a little left. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in. Uh, I'm gonna say nine and a half. Um, I'd give it a ten, but if I had that initial kick right at the beginning, I think I'd I'd love it a lot more. Uh, bitterness, the dryness. The dryness is, is perfect. The bitterness uh, for the flavor is a little high. That's why I said you know just bump that uh, citrus up a little bit more. Um, alcohol's good, 7%. Uh, you don't want to have it too high. You don't want to be, you know, on the, on the point of two beers and done. Because of, uh, I mean, if you can drink a 16 ounce can in under 10 minutes and enjoy every single drink of it, uh, once you get to that second can, and you're uh, you're going to kind of wish you would slow down a little bit. Um, Rough tail, I mean, they got it going on, you know, right here, here in Oklahoma, so. It's about a 20, 25 minute drive from me. Uh, I think there's only been one beer I wasn't too keen on. I think it was the 12th round ale. Everything else I've had from them has been amazing. So, there you go. Nine and a half on the uh, this season or this quarter, whatever you want to call it, of uh, their adaptation ale. We'll be seeing you.